Welcome then to Bamako. Sierra Leone set the ball rolling against uh, Burkina Faso this evening. A very high level in England and now bringing his experience to this uh, Leone Stars team. Against the Burkina Faso side packed full of players based uh, around Europe. Just one member of the Stallion side plays here on the African continent. That is Stefan Azizki who will play in an attacking midfield role. There's an attack-minded Burkina Faso side this evening as they come forward and looking for the early breakthrough. The shot off the crossbar from Lassina Traore. And it really should have been the goal just two and a half minutes into this game. Here they come again. Dongo Watara with the ball into the box. Temperatures still in the low 30s, but with the humidity it feels quite a bit warmer than that. And uh, might just be an issue for some of the players who've course spent the club season in cooler climbs in Europe as the cross comes in and it's laid down for the shot from Stefan Aziz key which is just wide Mohamed Kamara the goal center back walking a tightrope now for the remaining three quarters of this game Freak it played into the penalty box and it's another chance for Lassino Traore it was uh, a good first touch, and he had to works it back to Kylian Nikiema. Again, a starting in goal this evening. The usual first choice goalkeeper in recent years for Burkina Faso has been Hervé Kofi, but he is not involved this evening. Dungo Watara going one way, then the other. Yago back to Aziz Key. It's a good strike from Stefan Aziz Key. Tipped over the bar by Mohamed Kamara. First ball forwards headed away by Osman KK. Still the pressure on them. Stefan Aziz Key. Crossed towards the back post and the header was on target but straight at the goalkeeper. Done that at the beginning of this year. In Ivory Coast and an AFCON played in their region in West Africa. In a country with a large uh, Burkina Bay community. And the next task for the new coach, Brahma Traore, is to deliver success in this World Cup qualifying campaign. Hassan Bonde waiting for some support to emerge here. And the referee will now play to continue. Badolo, Stefan Aziz key. It's a really clever ball and it's been turned into the net. It's a superb goal. And Burkina Faso have the lead here. Dongo Watara with the finish, but that was all about the pass to set him up. The pressure finally pays off with half time approaching. And the Burkina Faso supporters in the stands here in Bamako. On their feet. Oh, Dongo Watara is such a fine talent. Oh, those long legs of his. Now Sierra Leone will be deeply disappointed that they're unable to hold on until the break at nil-nil. But ultimately, I have to say the goal was coming. Let's see if they can reply to that. Dumbuya with the shot from distance. A very hopeful effort from him. First three minutes, that really set the tone. Here comes Watara again, powering into the penalty box, and he's chopped down by Abu Dumbuya, and it's a penalty kick to Burkina Faso. We will have the chance to double array the Shakhtar Donetsk forwards was the man who grabbed the ball, eager to take the spot kick. Burkina Faso with the chance to make it 2-0 right at the end of the first half, and it's thumped home by Lassina Traore. No changes at the beginning of the second half. For Tanzania. 
another corner then. Two quick succession at the start of the half. And it's a free header. And it's saved by Mohamed Kamara. Just not enough power generated. Here's the one-two with Lassina Traore, the Sierra Leone defence. Standing firm this time. Just can't keep hold of the ball though. Sasha Bonze. Five minutes into the second half and Burkina Faso setting the stall out once again. As he's key, that's uh, a nice ball for Wedraogu. Back to Bonte. And the header comes in and it's a good save. To deny Dongo Watara. It will be a corner. Warm and pretty much perfectly still evening here in Bamako. You can see that the corner flag is moving just very gently indeed in comes the corner and the header is turned into the net and from nowhere Sierra Leone get a goal back and it's Carb move on to seven points after four matches they'll be three points behind the Egyptians Looking to move themselves into second place and hold on to that spot at the very least but Sierra Leone on the offensive now looking for the equaliser and that uh, cross nearly which will be played in uh, Morocco looks like it's going to be taking place early in 2026 we wait uh, for confirmation of that to come Ball forward towards as he's keen, it falls for Bondé to hit it. He maybe snatched at that opportunity just a little bit. Saidu Sampore was a note by Brahma Traore, the Burkina Faso coach, to the need to be a bit more secure defensively. But they have a chance here to make it 3 1. It's Tapsoba with the effort which lands on the roof of the net. See another change from Sierra Leone. Maybe a final throw of the dice. Kinefasa looking relatively comfortable again. And now looking for that third goal. Don't go Watera. Trying to force the issue. The, the chance coming. Will it be Sierra Leone to get it? They have thrown as many attacking players on as they can, really. In comes the shot from Bakayoko. It's an incredible introduction for the substitute. They might not uh, have serious uh, belief that they can actually qualify for the World Cup from this difficult section, but it's a huge blow to Burkina Faso's chances of qualifying unless they can dig out a winner here. The importance of getting as many points on the board. Still we play on. Blatty Touré. Moves it across to the far side for Steve Yago. Flighted forward by him. Comes out to Blatty Toure once again. Can Burkina Faso, after all that, find a winning goal? Away by Rodney Michael, but it's all hands to the pump now for Sierra Leone. They have to hold on to what they've got after that comeback. Dangerous ball into the middle. It's going to come to Wedraogu. Works his way into pocket of space. Blatty Toure across the tap so but the brave block to deny him. Traore returned by tap so but Kunate. Ah, terrific uh, athleticism.